In today's video, we are going to study about servo motors. What a servo motor is, how does it work, and types of servo motor. So let's start. A servo motor is a rotary actuator or a linear actuator that allows for precise control of angular or linear position, velocity, and acceleration. We can find their use in robotics, CNC machines, automated manufacturing, tracking systems, etc. Just to make you clear, in case you are not aware what an actuator is, an actuator is a part of a device or machine which helps it to achieve physical movement by converting energy, be it electrical, pneumatic or hydraulic into mechanical force. If we simplify it further, an actuator is the component in any machine that enables movement. A servo motor works on a servo mechanism. Components of a servo mechanism are Controller It's a unit which generates command signal for operation. Servo drive It's a dedicated module designed for the operation and control of the servo motor. Drive and detection unit It consists of a motor, necessary gear and soft arrangement along with an encoder for position feedback. Now, let's go through the servo mechanism block diagram. Here, the block diagram of a servo mechanism is shown. To operate a servo motor using the servo mechanism, first step, controller generates a command and a reference input is sent to the servo amplifier. Then, based on the input reference point, amplifier powers on the servo motor. Then, servo motor is mounted with a encoder which sends an electrical signal corresponding to the mechanical movement of the servo motor. This feedback is sent to the error detection unit. Then error detector compares the input reference point with feedback value and in case of any error that is mismatch of reference point and feedback point, the error is fed to the amplifier. Then, amplifier does the necessary control action by giving power to the servo motor to reach the desired reference point. Servo motors could be divided in multiple categories. As shown here, the major categories are DC servo motor, AC servo motor, brushless DC servo motor, positional rotation servo motor, continuous rotation servo motor, and linear servo motor. There are some extra types under DC servo motor. We won't go in detail about all the types, but we will know important things about all these types. DC servo motor. Basic operating principle is quite similar to any other electromagnetic motor, but these are equipped with long rotors of a small diameter. DC servo motors are larger in size in comparison to other similar rated motor. DC servo motor could be further classified in series motor, split series motor, shunt control motor, and permanent magnet shunt motor, and brushless DC servo motor. AC servo motor. They work on alternating current and differ from normal AC motor as their rotor are made using thin conducting bars. Thin bars result in higher resistance and consequently higher starting torque. AC servo motors are used in low power applications. AC servo motors are further classified in two phase and three phase AC servo motor. Mostly two phase AC servo motors are in use. Three phase AC servo motors are used in high power requirement systems. Positional rotation servo motor. These servo motors output shafts rotate in about 180 degree. They include physical stoppers at either end to limit the rotation. This servo motor is the most widely used type of servo motor. Commonly used in radio controlled cars, aircrafts, robots, etc. Continuous rotation servo motor. This type of servo motor can go in any direction continuously. They don't have any stopper in their path. Normally, servo motor's control signal is a position, but in case of 
continuous rotation servo motor the control signal is speed and direction of rotation of the motor linear servo motor this servo motor is similar to positional rotation servo motor but instead of angular movement we get back and forth movement which is achieved by additional gears let's conclude the session with advantages of the servo motors which are precise movement and control high acceleration high accuracy high efficiency high and constant torque at high speed and quiet in operation now a very interesting fact will be to know that servo motor is not a specific class of motor yet the word is quite popularly used to refer a motor suitable for use in closed loop control system with this i conclude this session of servo motor basics don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel do write your views in the comment section we'll be back soon with another video thanks for watching bye